What's up everybody, welcome back to Awesome News, your weekly show where we talk about the most important awesome news that happened during the week. We got some pretty interesting topics that we're going to talk about in this video, so make sure that you prepare your popcorn for this. But before we get started, if you do want to help me out in my journey to become the most subscribed awesome news channel on YouTube, then be sure to hit that sub button, your support would really mean a lot. But yeah, let's start with a pretty spicy topic that happened last week. So you may have heard of a 4-digit player by the name of Lucifer, he's a 4-digit player from Chile who is pretty much well known in the community for playing the game and sending some scores with the tapping technique known as rake tapping and you can definitely tell if you look some of his top plays but recently there was an r slash also report post made on him and usually for posts like this you would usually think it's for cheating but nah it's actually for blatant extreme racism op said this unacceptable conduct for such a high profile player uploading plays where he keeps spamming n-word at the end of the play in the microphone for a good half a minute also it's the n-word with a hard R. I'm not going to play that part of the video because again if I do play it the video will probably get demonetized and maybe even age restricted because the N word with the hard R does indeed get spammed in that video. And though there are pretty mixed opinions about this entire thing. Some people say that since this was done outside of the game itself then he will probably not get banned because it's not done in the game itself. But some people point out that a player by the name of Minus LS has apparently been banned for doing stuff like this outside of the game itself. Some people say that this behavior is just in general wild and dumb to do and others also say to just leave him be because he is just an edgy kid being cringe on the internet. Now Lucifer responded to this entire thing on Twitter by posting a screenshot of the also report itself and then saying really and the n word after that in which he was met with a lot of negative responses. Minus Peter the rank 1 player from Serbia pretty much stated that it's low key an embarrassment that they labeled him as a high profile player. Luciano the number 1 player from the Netherlands responded with this. Has anyone told you what a digital footprint is? And another also player by the name of Brain Age said this, You're a loser and you should be banned for blatant hardware abuse, not for your disrespectful conduct outside of the game. With that being said, what are you freaking 14? Grow the frick up. If you don't, one day you're gonna say the hard R and you're gonna get hit in the face. I will also add that nobody will feel sorry for you when you inevitably get hit in the face. You have it coming when this is how you behave. Lucifer responded to this by stating who is the violent one here in which brain age responded with whoever ends up hitting you in the face man i don't know just stop saying the hard r it's really not that difficult you behave and speak like a 12 year old and i'm assuming you're almost an adult it's embarrassing in which lisa fair responded with you're probably one of those typical white woke people who tries to impose what's right and what's wrong in which brain age responded with forget about right or wrong you're actively annoying everyone around you and or making them sad with your language if you keep behaving like this nobody will want to be around you. And this is where the discussion ends, but also there is a few people that actually defended Lucifer, pretty much stating that people are just being weak about this entire thing and that it's nothing new. But yeah, what do you think about this situation? Let me know down in the comment section. But another thing that I want to talk about in this video is what Emrek has been doing recently and my freaking goodness, it's actually crazy. So you may have heard of a private server by the name of Akatsuki. It is mostly known for being a relaxed server, but it also features a vanilla also experience. Now, for those of you who don't know, on the Akatsuki server, they actually did implement the combo skill removal, but that's the only change that they implemented from the upcoming reward. However, another interesting thing about Akatsuki is the fact that they have a bit more ranked maps that are currently unranked in Bancho. And well, because of all of this, Emrek decided to once again go on Akatsuki and this time play around with these combo skill removal. And what is the result of this? Well, to put it simple, chaos. A 1.7k PP play, 3 1.6k pp plays, 5 1.5k pp plays, 7 1.4k pp plays, 9 1.3k pp plays, and well yeah you get the point, Emrek managed to send so many high pp plays on Katsuki, it's absolutely insane. And the craziest part of all this is the fact that most of these plays were set in a few hours. In fact, just on that stream, Emrek set 118 1k pp plays within in two hours on Akatsuki. But yeah, let's just say that that's not the only thing that Emrek done this week. Emrek recently set a score that he probably gained like zero PP from, but he set it just because, should we say. Emrek set the current new Hard Rock PP record, and it's the first Hard Rock FC 
and Yomiyori the Riven difficulty. He managed to FC the map with hard work with 99.47% accuracy mind you, getting the number one spot on the map and this play is worth 1176 pp and to just put into perspective just how insane this play is, this could easily be a very impressive top play for a lot of top players in the top 50 but for Emrek this score isn't even in his top 100 plays. So yeah this was just an insane play that recently happened but another crazy thing that Emrek decided to do is change his me page into the goals that he wants to achieve until 2026 arrives. And while there are only two goals but my goodness these are very scary goals. And those goals are to reach 32,000 pp in total and have a 2500 pp play. Now at the moment and may seem impossible for some people but, but just as a reminder for what Emrek has done previously, when Emrek was still at the number 2 position he had a list of goals that he wanted to achieve and back in 2020-2021 those goals seemed impossible. But a few years later and out of those 22 goals that Emrek listed, Emrek hasn't achieved only 5 of them. And you can see for yourself just how crazy these goals look. So yeah with the newly announced Emrek goals and the upcoming combo removal scale rework, do you think that he will be able to achieve all these goals within the next year let me know down in the comment section. But our next topic is rather surprising and in a pretty bad situation. So you may have heard of an ex Osu content creator by the name of Squashy Boy. He used to be a very popular content creator in Osu but now he currently focuses mainly on keyboard reviews and well recently his channel apparently got hacked. Specifically a second channel of his that he has with his friends got hacked and he's trying to solve this entire thing with YouTube but apparently YouTube aren't doing anything. Every time he tried to wrote something to YouTube for help, they would reply with unfortunately they were unable to recover your channel because they couldn't verify ownership even though quite literally Squashy Boy sent proof, video proof that he owned that channel. He quite literally showcased rough footage of one of the videos that was uploaded on that channel and despite the proof YouTube weren't doing anything to recover their channel. Now YouTube replied to this pretty much stating that they currently have checked and it seems like they already have a case open with the support team and Squashy Boy Boy replied with pretty much stating that he actually got jabated by YouTube themselves because although they said that there is an existing case number for that situation, he got an email from them pretty much stating that they couldn't recover his channel again. And yeah, to this day it still seems like he hasn't been able to recover that channel. But yeah, what do you think about this? Let me know down in the comment section. Other pretty important news that happened this week. Apparently Saito has been doing some exercises for his RSI pain and it's pretty much gone apparently. So we might see a return from him next month. The highest ranked player that registered in 2022 has now reached 3 digit. On r slash osu game there are more score posts about Emrek now compared to Chocoman. It's officially been 3 years since White Cat set his at the time pp record on team magma with 3 mod. Dresser has hit 30,000 pp in osu mania. Lifeline has also reached 24,000 pp in osu. You can apparently now send messages on osu 420's twitch chat. Crowler has once again reached 2 digit. Ryuki has changed his username to Connor McDavid. Some unfortunate news but apparently the Endless Mirage collabs will not happen anymore. Hitori Goto TV mix mapped by Doormat has reached 100 million play count. The player by the name of Zalaria has hit 80k silver SS ranks. Zutunita turned 24 so happy late birthday from me to her. And if you still haven't watched that then be sure to watch this video that is on screen right now because there is some pretty important news in that video. But until then I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.